All right, we got the uh, Arc Taylor 75 amp machine. Now I've got the 55 amp machine here I did a review on, and it's a pretty good machine. A 75 amp machine should be able to cut three quarter inch uh, without too much of an issue. And that's what I would think would be uh, if you were cutting thicker plates or if you're wanting to uh, do a, a high production where you're actually moving very quickly. Uh, you get the extra amps, and th that's where the 75 amp machines come in. So we'll see just how well this uh, machine performs. But let's get into the features, which is half, you know, half of it is, you know, what features you get on a machine, and then the other half is how well the machine actually performs. So let's see what kind of features we have on this machine. All right, I'm going to start on the back, because this is something I really like. Uh, you've got just an air chuck here to plug your air compressor in. I like that. Uh, it also has a breaker instead of just an on-off switch. Uh, gives you a little extra protection. Although, but what I really like is the fact that it has the air chuck that it then we just plug in right there. So I'll flip the machine around. I'll turn my breaker on and that's going to boot up. So it automatically detects if we're 110 or 220. Um, all you do is plug it into 220 if you want it to run 220 or plug it in 110. All right, right here so we can adjust our pallet arc and our post time uh, with this knob right here. This one here, we can adjust our amps. Uh, being on 110, you're only going to be able to go up to 40 amps. And then what I like about here is we've got our air regulator right here on the front. We're not having to reach behind the machine. And then we can actually push the button here and that's going to cause the air to flow and that way we can set so even though we're at 26 psi it's going to um, go to uh, 20 psi while it's flowing so that's the minimum so let's drop this down 15 amps to the minimum we'll test that out it also has your plate and mesh modes uh, if you're cutting that and then this is to go to your pallet arc or your post arc and then the T2, T4, that is where you press the, the, and hold the trigger on T2 or you press the trigger and let it go and it still burns and then you press and let go again to have it to stop. Uh, standard features, but uh, I definitely uh, like machines that have this. So this is a, a, a definite upgrade. And another feature is it's got about a 10 foot uh, ground cable and then our whip is about 12 foot so it's a little bit longer than the ground cable but it actually has a real nice swivel joint it's really flexible so uh, it helps with the uh, arm fatigue so I'm really looking forward to uh, testing this out and seeing if it can cut as good as it looks. All right so I've got our Amps turned all the way down to 15 amps. That's the lowest this machine will go. I've got the air pressure when it's flowing set down to 20 PSI. Again, that's the lowest recommended for 110. I've got the machine running on 110, and I've got this really rusty piece of uh, sheet metal here. Um, let's just see how quick and easy um, this thing's going to work on some rusty uh, sheet metal there. All right, so I'm at 40 amps and uh, about 44 PSI when I'm cutting. We got a piece of 3 16 uh, painted metal. Let's see how well it cuts out. Right, that cut like butter. Almost no slag. That's a really, uh, really nice cut there. I probably should have went a little faster. Uh, but I think it's cutting really smooth. All right, let's grab a piece of uh, that some old uh, kind of rusty um, quarter inch here. So let's uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn it up to about. 50 amps, what about 50 amps? That's a quarter inch. 
We'll see what happens here with this quarter inch. Quarter inch, uh, no problem, uh, very little slag, um, nice, uh, smooth cut. And again, you know, just trying to kind of test it out here. Um, probably should be going a little bit faster than what I am, but, uh, you know, we're still seeing what it'll do. All right, I got a piece of, uh, I think it's three-eighths uh, aluminum here. So let's see how well this will cut that aluminum. I'm just going to leave the um, settings all the same, 50 amp, uh, about 45 PSI. All right, pretty good little cut there on that aluminum. All right, I got a piece of a uh, half inch. I don't have a whole lot of half inch, but I got a little small piece right here. Um, went ahead and cranked this thing on up. Uh, cranked the air pressure up, cranked the uh, amps up. So let's see what this is going to do on this half inch. That's pretty, uh, now I kind of double started right there on that front, but uh, that's a, a pretty good uh, cut on that half inch. That's pretty, I could do that all day long, uh, nice and straight down. Let's uh, try this uh, three quarter inch and see uh, what happens if we do the three quarter. Got a little bit of uh, slag on the bottom of that. Uh, I don't know, maybe that one's too slow. Uh, but, like you see, that knocks off just that easy. And um, that's a hunk of uh, metal there that that thing cut uh, pretty smooth. All right, so after I tested this out, I um, got the book out. And in the book, it says uh, for the 75 amp, um, five eighths is um, what it should be able to cut. This is a full three quarter, and I mean it cut that three quarter. Um, this is the hot end. <laughs> it's still a little warm, but I mean that's um, it, it kind of got a little bit of a swirl at the bottom. Um, so I guess you know it would be a, a better if it was five eighths, eighth of an inch thinner. But if you needed to cut a three quarter. It didn't do a bad job on that three quarter, and uh, it wasn't uh, real slow either. Um, everything below that, the aluminum, uh, seat metal, I mean, it's just a matter of um, how good of a hand you got because as fast as you can move it, this thing can pretty much cut it. So definitely um, got all the features that I looked for uh, and some of the uh, quality of life features with like the uh, regulator up on the front. Uh, got a nice long wheel up on it. So uh, if you're in the neighborhood for a, a good heavy duty plasma machine, uh, this definitely, I mean, uh, the 55 amps, they work good, but uh, they can't do what this machine can do. So if you're uh, either gonna be uh, wanting to move fast 
uh, where you can crank up your amps and uh, get the job done, or if you're the type that, uh, you know, sometimes you got a little bit thicker, you know, three quarter inch metal that you need to cut, uh, definitely uh, check this thing out. I'll put some links in the description. And until um, next time, I guess, uh, hope everybody has a wonderful day and see you on the flip side.